Welcome back. Time now is 8.09. In this time of year, the trees are budding, flowers blooming, and while they are beautiful, can also cause some problems for people and pets with allergies. So we're joined once again this morning by our pet vet, Dr. Jennifer Crow from Fisher's Veterinary Hospital. And a dog maybe won't have a runny nose necessarily, but they could have some other issues that you notice. You start talking, for, first of all, thanks for being with us today. And you start with the skin, it gets, it gets kind of itchy. Yes, most dogs, the allergies that they have, they can be the same types that we do, but they don't get hay fever, they get itchy skin. And how can you tell? Will they start scratching? They start scratching. They scratch, they lick and chew, uh, they may shake their head or rub their face on the floor. Um, that's how you can tell when they're itchy. And what kinds of allergies do pets have? Is it the same type as us? Very much the same type as us. Um, but instead of getting hay fever, like they said, they get itchy. So. Um, this time of year, a lot of it is going to be environmental. Hmm. So whether it's something that they breathe in or something that they touch. Um, and they breathe in those pollens. It triggers histamine just like in people, but they get itchy skin. So some of those dogs can use antihistamines just like people. Wow. The things that they touch, it's going to be like a person touching poison ivy, and sometimes we have to use a steroid. Um, but in a lot of our pets, they don't fit into one nice category, and they also can have food allergies. Hmm something that is related to an ingredient in their diet, and even parasites. Some dogs literally get itchy from the saliva mm. of a flea bite. But they can be allergic to foods just like so many people are allergic to peanuts or other foods. It's a different type of reaction. It's not an anaphylactic reaction mm. where they have this, all of a sudden they can't breathe. Um, but it makes their skin change to the point where they mm. have an itchy sensation. And it may be something they've been eating for a long time, and all of a sudden their immune system does not respond appropriately to it. Now, Dr. Crow, I can imagine that you can't really use a neti pot on your dog. No. What do you do? <laughs> <laughs> so a lot of times it's going to be an oral medication that's going to be designed to stop the reaction. So whether that's from histamine or whether that's from um, something else, there are prescription medications and some over-the-counter, so be sure to talk to your vet. Oftentimes, we're going to do a food trial. We're mm. going to put them on a specific food where we know what the ingredients are just to see if that works before using something that's over the counter. All right, Dr. Crow, thank you so much for joining us today. Something to keep in mind when your nose is sniffling, your eyes are watering, your pet may be experiencing some allergies too. So we thank you so much for joining us today.